Welcome to our lesson about creating a component. Let's start by creating an assembly document. And let's place our first component. We'll select the base and click Open. And right click and Done. Now let's select Create Component. I'm going to give it a name, I'll call it Mount 01. Here we can select from the template types, specify the location of the new component. We have the option to create a virtual component if we need. And we've got the option to constrain the sketch plane to a selected face or plane. This option creates a mate between the selected part face and the plane. We're ready to click OK. Now let's select a face. Notice that the base is grayed out and we're in part editing mode. Let's insert a sketch. Right click on the XY plane, New Sketch. Now activate the Project Geometry tool and select this face. We can see here that the sketch is fully constrained. Let's finish the sketch. Activate the Extrude command. And let's make it a quarter inch extrusion, 0 0.25, and click OK. Let's expand extrusion 1. And as you can see here, the sketch reference was created. Let's click Return. Also, as you see here, a mate was applied. If I try to move a component, it doesn't move, and in other words, is fully constrained. Let's continue with our assembly. We'll insert another component. Let's left click on the Create tool. And we'll call this component Mount02. This time I'll uncheck the Constrain Sketch Plane to Selected Face or Plane option. Let's click OK. Select this face. And we're in Part Editing mode. The base and Mount1 are grayed out. Let's insert a sketch on the XY plane. Right click, New Sketch. Once again, click Project Geometry. Select this face. The sketch is fully constrained. Let's finish the sketch. Activate the Extrude command. And let's make it a quarter inch extrusion. And let's click OK. And now let's click Return. Inventor didn't create a mate for Mount 2. If I grab Mount 2, I can move it vertically. The reason I can only move it vertically is because the sketch has references. Let's double click on Mount 02. And now let's expand Extrusion 1. Let's right click on Reference 1. Actually, let's collapse Mount 1. Now let's right click and select Break Link. Let's exit Part Editing mode, click Return. Now I can freely move the component. Let's apply some constraints now. Activate the Constrain tool. Select this edge and this edge. The type of constraint will be a mate. Click Apply and Cancel out of the tool. Now the component behaves as a hinge around this edge. Let's activate the Mate tool again. I'd like to apply another constraint, a Mate constraint. I'll select this edge, and this edge, and let's apply and cancel out of the tool. Now if I try to move the component, they are fully constrained. One more thing here, let's double click again. Now double click on Sketch 1 to activate it. Now all of the entities of the sketch can be freely moved. Let's click Undo. Basically, we need to apply dimensions here. OK. OK, and so on. Let's finish the sketch. This concludes our lesson about creating components.